Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today you are joining me in my Audi A7 and I'm going to attempt to clean my leather steering wheel in the Audi. Now my Golf GTI has recently had a brand new steering wheel fitted and it feels fantastic. And the Audi A7 steering wheel, as you can see here, if I bring it into the frame, is getting a little bit shiny as well and it's kind of losing some of the kind of texture around the top here and you know these kind of areas down here and i think even the stitching is probably looking a little bit dirty as well the idea is that i'm going to bring it back to life by cleaning the steering wheel the product that i'm going to be using is the auto glim leather cleaner i'm also going to be using like a microfiber cloth just to kind of agitate um, the cleaner onto the steering wheel and then hopefully give it a nice sort of clean and a polish so what i'm going to do is mount the camera probably up here somewhere so you can see the whole process in action okay so as you can see the steering wheel is a little bit shiny in places especially from where i would normally be holding the steering wheel when driving and the idea is that we're gonna try and bring this back to life so i'm just gonna go with the flow and some of the products that i'm going to be using are going to be the auto glim leather cleaner got myself a microfiber cloth as well and i've got a abrasive brush to really like get into like the crevices and into some of these perforated edges as well now the idea is that i'm going to literally just spray this over the steering wheel or onto the uh, microfiber cloth rub it in and then let's see how that kind of finishes and hopefully it'll be looking a little bit better than what it currently is so yeah i'll just pick this up straight from my local car um, workshop place so I'm just going to go ahead and literally just uh, spray on to the microfiber cloth. And like I say, I might be doing this completely wrong, but it's just going to be my first kind of way of doing this on on this steering wheel. So I'm just going to just rub it straight away, all the way through. Kind of see how that goes. I mean it's already looking better in certain places already which is quite a good thing and I'm going to be quite liberal with the amount of spray that I'm going to put on here I really want to just get this you know, really fully covered all around the, the back as well and let's see how this kind of goes I might have to do this a few times so yeah just bear with me Okay, so I've just agitated the product into the steering wheel. I'm just going to wipe it off now. I'm just cleaning off the product now that I've agitated into the steering wheel. I have got another microfiber cloth as well just to fully dry it off because this one's a little bit damp now. It's definitely feeling that little bit better because I've scrubbed quite a lot of product into it already. I might just need to go over that a couple of times just to give that another coating to get that matte finish you can definitely feel it's a little bit more matte now i'm gonna do that i think a couple of times just to get a better steering feel out of it really
So you can see that I've lathered it all up with the cleaner. I'm just gonna give it an initial wipe with the same damp cloth. I can really now see like the uh, perforated edges coming back to life now, which is a good thing. That's exactly what you wanna see. And the steering wheel itself has got rid of that shine. Coming back to life, which is much nicer than how it was. Let's draw it off now. Oh yeah. Second round of this process is definitely making the steering wheel come back to life. Now, one of the things I was worried about was that this bristle brush, I was kind of thinking it might be a little bit too aggressive, but it's not doing any damage at all. You can really go over the whole, um, once you've given it a clean, you can lock it in with like a conditioner or a, pro or a protector as such. I don't really have one of them at the moment, so I'm just gonna just leave it as it is once it's done. But yeah, this is already feeling pretty good. I'm gonna repeat the process one final time because I can tell the difference between the stage one and the stage two, um, if I can even call it that. And I'm gonna try it again now one more time and then hopefully it will look much nicer compared to how it was. Okay, so I've done three coats of the same process using the same technique. Like I said, I'm not a professional detailer or anything and I'm sure there's gonna be most of you guys out there saying I'm doing this totally wrong, but I can only go by what this steering wheel now looks like and compared to how it was before, it's definitely come back to life and it's got that nice matte finish as well. Let me just quickly show you what this steering wheel now looks like. As you can see, the perforated edges are much nicer. You can see that it's kind of like brought back that whole um, matte look as well if you look at it from this side it just looks absolutely fantastic right now i mean even the top here as well it's looking pretty clean and if you look at it from this angle here it's looking much more matte compared to how shiny it was before so i'm definitely you know kind of made up in the way this is now looking and the way it's feeling as well i have just quickly gone over and given the the worst to boss a little bit of like a clean as well but i think overall guys i'm impressed with the way this has turned out you know it's not really cost me much i've got the kit now as well so that's gonna last me forever and to be honest i can even use that on this whole leather interior as well just to kind of like bring that back to life if i need to i mean no one really sits in the back of this car on a daily basis it's just normally just me so the driver's seat probably gets more wear compared to the passenger seat and the rear bench but overall guys i'm quite impressed with the way this is now looking it's not going to feel like a brand new steering wheel but it certainly doesn't feel like it's done thirty-two and a half thousand miles which is what the miles on the car is so yeah i'm quite happy with the way this looks i might just go over it once more you know just like getting to the like deeper edges as you can see like right into here or something like there as well just to get that looking a little bit better but overall guys i am hugely impressed with the way this steering wheel has sort of turned up um or come out rather um it is important once that you have cleaned all of this you just wipe any kind of like marks away from the screen here Otherwise, they'll just stay on. As you can see down here, you've got a few kind of spit marks of the uh, the spray. So yeah, I'm just gonna give that a bit of a clean, get a bit of like a cleaner on that as well. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm just so happy with the way the way this looks now. So yeah, let me know if you have found this vid informative, if you found it entertaining. Uh, I know there's quite a few of you guys out there that like these kind of detailing vids. I might do a few more. Um, you know, sort of on this or the golf gti um but yeah enough rambling now hope you have enjoyed it give it a like if you have share subscribe leave a comment in the comment section below tell me that i've done this totally wrong i won't mind at all and hopefully guys i'll see you on the next one take care bye